Hi, good morning. Yeah, we're at the Dot Cocktail Lounge in Barrio Logan, and they're not doing quite so good. You can see all the chairs are behind me. Everything's kind of put up against the wall because they've had to temporarily close their doors once again. And I have the owner with us, Falonzo King. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you again. And my wife, Michelle King, and I would like to thank you and our loyal customers for making our business as successful as it has been. But as you see now, we're back into dealing with the pandemic as is all the rest of the small, small businesses here in San Diego. Although we don't understand why some small businesses are allowed to operate, such as strip clubs and stores that have really no meaning other than what bars are doing, the same thing. They're providing a service for their customers. So we're going to keep abiding by the rules, but yet and still we want to know is there some type of solution because there should be another alternative to shutting down for the small businesses. There are a lot of other things being offered service-wise. I mean, the vaccine is here now, although we don't know what the side effects may be of the vaccine, yet and still, it's there. So there are other alternatives. We just should be offered some alternatives other than just closing the doors because, I mean, think about it. If we're closed for three weeks, are you saying you're gonna allow us to open and have a big New Year's party? Just doesn't add up, doesn't make sense to me. So nevertheless, we're gonna abide by the rules, but we just wanna know what rules are we playing by? And what do you think the what do you think about the governor's actions about him closing all these small businesses such as your own? Well, personally, I mean, <laughs> to me, the governor's ex-wife must have been a bartender because he hates the bars. First thing he does, closes bars and restaurants. That doesn't make sense to me because there are so many other avenues that could be taken. If the gyms are open, the churches are open, these are all gathering places. If the parks are open, these are gathering places. Bars are gathering places. Uh, what's the difference? We have a great outside setup. We've done everything within the rules and guidelines. Our customers are safe and compliant. It makes no sense to have us shut down and have some other businesses open. Yep. If we're fighting this thing together, the togetherness to me should be everyone is either open or everyone is either closed. That's the togetherness. But if you separate us, and have some businesses open and some businesses closed, that's not a fair way of trying to come to a solution to me. But that's just my opinion. Well, thank you for sharing your opinion with us. We really appreciate it. I know you've done everything right. You, thankfully, you have this parking lot, so hopefully in th three weeks you're able to get people back sitting outdoors and do what you do over here in Barrio Logan. Because I know you're a big part of the military as well over here. Yes, thank you very much. And we will be ready. Whenever they give us the go ahead, we will be open and ready for business. Sounds good, Jason and Lauren. We're gonna go ahead and send things back to you. We're live in Barrio Logan at the Dock Cocktail Lounge. Casey, uh, looking forward to a safe reopening. Yeah, absolutely. Wow.